Oh, Capcom. And Disney, you're a company. And way forward. Let's see, you will be stood up for judgment. Because, boys and girls, we will be playing DuckTales Remastered. I have not played this game other than just to briefly make sure my controls worked. So, yeah, I'm going into this blind and we're going to see what is coming for us. Yes, I had to overwrite what I had earlier. Alright. So here we go. Let's get going. That's probably not a good thing. That's also probably not a good thing. And, holy crap, are there really that many Beagle Boys? Seriously? Cuss me, Hiltz. Me money been alarmed. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. <laughs> what Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Hey, hit that lamppost. Dude, drive a little better. What are you, ancient? Oh, he's pretty old looking, actually. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Yeah, that probably's not a good plan on their side. All right. All right, so the pogo jump is set where you gotta hold down the jump and the attack button and down. It's more of the old school style. You can also set it where you just have to hold down the attack button and the jump button. Oh, money. And this was not in the original game, whatever this is. This, I guess, is his vault. Sorry, money bin, as he called it. Let's just keep collecting diamonds that are actually already inside the vault, because that doesn't make a lick of sense. Oh no! Oh, Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys mess with your security system! <laughs> yeah! We've taken over the whole place! Yeah! <laughs> me money! Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge! Eh? Oh, 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 oh! Don't worry, lad, I'll save you! After he saves his money. <laughs> Mama, be so proud. I, I, I caught <laughs> He caught himself a freaking oh, concussion. Oh, oh, now that's what I call a stomach ache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry up. Man, I gotta tell ya. Thanks for pointing me in the right direction. I gotta tell ya, the security system seems a little haywire and wacky. Um, also, I don't know for sure, because I actually just haven't looked into it, but... But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's all the, like, the voice actors really sound like the same voice actors. And apparently Scrooge. The size of, uh, 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 Mrs. Well, that's not very nice. Mrs. Beagley is a strong, independent woman who doesn't need you judging her based on her weight, Scrooge. That's not cool. Yeah, and in this game, just like the other one, it, it appears we have the whole, uh, the whole invisible stuff can be revealed. That includes chests. Like, there's probably going to be a chest right here. Sure enough. Whoa. And the Beagle Boys really seem as goofy as they did in the original, too, with just walking back and forth in rather ridiculous fashion. <laughs> Clap my hands! Clap my hands! Yeah, yeah. Alright, any, any more juices in here? No? Juice? Yeah, that's some juice. Alright, so the old hold out and cane swing. Nice. Alright. Anything up here? I don't want to leave before it uh, before it's time. I don't want to miss any treasures because treasures, as we all know, is what Scrooge is all about. 
Because he even indicated that with that first little cutscene that he's really more concerned about, uh... Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for an afternoon snack. Big time it troubled me. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. But yeah, as indicated with the first guy. I'm stopping. Oh, okay. So I must have to hit this one first. That the whole that that's a real convenient button. Oh, dude, into your living room from my house. Good lord. But yeah, he's more concerned about the money than his nephews. I did. Are you hot blood? Now I'm fine, but I saw Louis heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. You know, that raises a good question. How many Beagle Boys are there? I really don't know the whole um, mantra behind the uh, the Beagle Boys. That works for me. Anything? Anything? Apparently not. Anything? Aha! That seems pretty simple to get through. But yeah, I don't know the whole... Um, Genealogy of them, if you will. Which ones are which? And, oh, hello, money. Onward and upward. In onward and upward, indeed, there, Scroogey, my boy. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many they are, or even the names of them. I just know that they were not nice to Scrooge and his onward. and his um, being all like greedy and junk. Oh, how, how am I supposed to even supposed to collect that? Yeah, it must be gone already. How would you even collect that? Oh, like that, you just fall down the screen. Okay. Wish I'd known that, I could have followed it down. No! Shoot. Oh well. It's a shame. I only missed out on 50,000, man. That's a valuable, well, fairly valuable diamond. Uh, I mean, even real diamonds are worth, of that caliber, worth quite a bit. Whoa! That was unexpected. Can I go over the top here? Doesn't look like it. I think that was a um, ice cream snack there that would refill a heart if I was hurt, so that's good. Alright. Yeah! Getting my diamond on. Whew! Getting my diamond on. Now, can I use this to, to fly up here before I push it? I can. Excellent. Now, was there something in the middle here I could have used? No, I had to use the barrel. Ah, stupid head. Boom. Look at that luster. That's quite the diamond there, Scroogey. You know, it's going to get really old hearing him making those same five or six comments over and over again. How am I supposed to get through this? Like that, I suppose? Even though I barely made it? Oh my god, he went- Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big job. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kill. One false move and I'm a worse duck. Please be a Scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, me boy. So, yeah, just looking at, uh... You'll never beat us, Scrooge. I'll do whatever I want. Um, but anyway, the whole, uh... When, when I get to cold, stop I'm talking. Buy Ma a new hat. Man, their mom's a real badass too. Anyway, Lu Ow. oh dude, that's gotta hurt. Louis's little dance there was kind of like he had to like go to the washer of this. Jeez, man. A fat lot of good that'll do us if they make it to me vault. Yeah, I mean, I just saved the three nephews, but whatever, Scrooge. Yeah! That was actually a pretty tight fit. That's one thing I'm noticing off the get-go. Scrooge doesn't have as much float in his pogo jump. Not as, like, compared to the original, not as much leeway to get away with, uh, some of the maneuvers that... Oh, what up? Excellent! But not as much leeway to get away with some, some maneuvers like he could in the original, so I gotta be... Are you gonna attack me with a painting? Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 no, 
at this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. He's wearing a helmet. I guess I can't pogo jump him. Oh. All right, it's so safe. Whoa! Securely Whoa! Suspended. So what do I got to do here? Oh, I see. Well, that's over my head. I can see it. Do this. And I probably got to stomp his ass. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Darn. I tried to duck it. That didn't work. I've read that the bosses, including the uh, old bosses, are a little more uh, robust than they were before. Don't know the difference or nothing, but uh, for this being a level that wasn't in the original... Oh, crap, Brian. You gotta not guess. I could die here. Unless he wants to die on this shot. Whoa! Yeah, like that. Everything is ready, sir. Yeah, well, too bad I wasn't. <laughs> ah, I see. Just duck in the middle of the room and you're safe no matter what. Well, that makes this pretty easy. No, you're not. Because you a dumb old Beagle Boy. And I'm Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, there's a lot of just... I bust you with this bust. <laughs> you're an idiot. Hear that there? Patton Beagle Boy? Yeah, he's George Patton. What of it? I gotta give this guy props. He's taken four safes to the head and is still alive. One should be enough. There we go. Boot his ass out of here. Curse you, my duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Only if you promise to play nice. Hey, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... That makes sense. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto-analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Damn. Oh, that's the computer. That's the level select computer. Brick a doon. What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. How the hell would they know? And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Oh, dude. That level select music. Well, I gotta tell you, those cutscenes in there were interesting. I felt they weren't so bad for interrupting the flow of gameplay. I'm hopeful that that won't be a... Oh, it's the old sound effect. Nice. It won't be too interfering, but uh, anyway, we'll worry about that on the, on the morrow when we go to the Amazon. We'll do it the same as we did last time. We're going to run it in order and see what we can find. Join us then, won't you?